ringers. They're just so welcoming, so caring. They honestly, I, I've never known any single hobby other than ringing where you could turn up to any ringing tower to a practice night, announce you're a ringer, and they will open you with open arms. Um, they'd get you ringing as what you what you can to what they can do the best of ability. They'll take you to the pub afterwards. They'll put a drink in you, you know. So would you like to share more about your experiences or stories behind your bell ringing? Attempt something not many ringers can do, and that's ring two bells at once. And I make a complete hash of it. Um, but it, it was filmed. And um, yeah, it's just this petrified look in my face when one of them disappears from my hands. It's just complete and utter petrified on this video and everyone's laughing. And it's, it's just like, you know, you've been framed moment, you know. How do you feel when you ring bells? You can almost like fall asleep in meditation with the sound when, you, when you're ringing a method you know quite well uh, and the band around you is strong and you just sink into that rhythm and it's just beautifully sounding and you just lose yourself in it and you can really hear the, the resonance of the bell which is kind of a, um, a problem for me because I lose myself in the sound when it's sounding nice and then forget what I'm doing and I may make a mistake. So are your parents all bell ringers as well? My parents aren't ringers at all. My nan, um, her father was a ringer, but he died before I was born. The first peal I ever rang, I dedicated to my nan for her birthday because I rang it on her birthday and, and remember her father. Um, it was a ringer before her and she, you know, she was quite happy with that. It was, you know, she was really proud of that. So how do you rate your bell ringing? We have a, there's a judge outside and he, he marks out mistakes. So there's half mistakes and full mistakes. So a full mistake would be a clash when you've got two bells next to each other. Half mistake would be uh, maybe too close, too far apart. Have you ever been judged before? Yes. I remember the last... Um, the last striking competition I went to, we didn't have exactly have a strong band because we did Phenom Jesmond. And I was in, I was conducting. Um, we we did really really well against some really strong bands. The judge said the conducting was really really well thought out, which was I was quite quite pleased about. So like, yes, got nailed it. So do you think bell ringing is a religious activity? That's a hard question to answer because a lot of ringers would love me to say yes right now and personally I believe that yes it's a call to worship but I'm not one for saying that you have to be religious to ring a church bell I just I don't think that's that's fair and to be able to come and ring without having the obligation to then attend the church service and participate in that side would help increase bell ringing numbers again. I want it to be more social. So do you think bell ringing is a unique British culture? I think there's um, something like around 7,000 ringable um, bell ringing churches in the world, 5,000 or so of which are in the UK. So although it is global, it is quite, you know, you notice ringable church bells in um, countries that were part of the former British Empire. So I would say that um, the British, the Brits brought brought bell ringing to those places. And um, so yeah, I would say it's quite a big part of British culture, and it's not something people are take really really know about. So a lot of people stop ringing after they getting married or having children. Would you be the same as them as well? If I if I ever have kids. Big if. Uh, I, I would never miss out on ringing if I could get away with it. And as soon as that kid could handle a rope, he'd be on one. Or she. <laughs>